people think, oh, it's a nerdy game. Oh, there's people running around with Nerf guns. How childish, how babyish. We're college students. We're having as much fun doing this as we could possibly have. The zombie has become a fixation of American popular culture, culminating in a massive outbreak of zombie-themed material into television, cinema, novels, graphic novels, and video games, expanding the zombie influence to all walks of the undead. The zombie's influence has reached right into the daily lives of college students across the country, creating a distinctive group of young individuals unified by their passion for the popular role-playing game Humans vs. Zombies. And while this game may seem a simple pastime, it offers us a great deal of insight into the influence of the zombie in popular culture. It's pretty fun. It's like it's just this little elaborate game of tag that just goes on. It makes life so much more exciting. Uh, requires a great deal of paranoia as you walk to class. Lots yeah. of over the shoulder, back and forth, and straight ahead. So. <laughs> Uh, definitely, it's only a week long, and it's a great way to meet people you might not otherwise meet. I typically don't watch like zombie-oriented movies. I just like playing this because it's fun. It's like a big, big game attack. The humans have bands around their arms, and they have to prevent the zombies from tagging them by shooting them with the nerf weapons. And the zombies basically have their head, their bands around their heads, and they have to try to tag the players with two hands. Wave, Brandon. Hello. Come out behind the tree so all the zombies can see you, Brandon. Take your clothes hey. off. Well, please don't do that. Take your clothes Woo! off, Brandon. Woo! Woo! Yeah! Brandon's job Brandon, is going good. to be to sit we down you, and plant an explosive device above your little horrible Banite hidey hole. If their explosive guy dies, the mission ends immediately. Don't Target. <laughs> Therefore, <laughs> if you leave your explosive guy behind, Kind of yeah. Once what you get stunned, you have to get out of the way. Two minutes. What if, but don't right, just stop running. Don't stop that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, well, then it's you. Don't do it. You can't help you're Exactly. Guys, listen. Hey, hey, hey. Listen. Swords. That still always freaked me out. I always have a tendency to stop back away. Don't let that happen. Just keep going. Because Ty goes to zombies. They're not going to hit you that hard. They're going to be too scared. Yeah, Ty goes to zombies. So if they're going to hit you, they can go out like this. Like that. The point is, if they hit you, the zombie behind you will have more time to get them. Everyone's closest to us in that direction is the one we're going to hit first. In that direction. Because they're starting back there. So we're going to get there, get it done since it's only 30 seconds, and then we'll move back towards the one that's going to be most defended. We all have swords, yes? Yeah. We need to take okay. as many as possible before they charge. That I have, now, I have, I have in here two, uh, a Rampage and a Raider, basically the same gun, but it's the same thing as that. And I have a 36 round drum mag, a scrap of ammo, just see the Orion, or if you're right next to you, just open the bag. We'll I find have it. two extra. Charge! Women have played a variety of different roles throughout the development of zombie entertainment, from the unwilling wife subjugated by dark magic, to the damsel in distress who exists to prove the male protagonist's heroism, and to the rare action heroine who takes an active role in fighting the zombie onslaught. While examining the game, an interesting trend appears, in some ways validating, and in other ways tossing aside, conventional roles of women in zombie popular culture. In Humans vs. Zombies, sexism is entirely non-existent. I'd have to say there's slightly more men, just, be, just because of like the nature of the game, but the number of women that play this game is a lot. There are a lot of, there are a lot of girls that do play this game. It's not a male-centric game whatsoever. Walking around, I probably saw more guys. Probably yeah. more guys. Okay. A lot of the girls just kind of were like... Mm -hmm. Hidden in the buildings. And... Yeah, they're the not hardcore girls, and then we're the hardcore girls. <laughs> If you don't get into it, you aren't going to have fun with it. Like, I know people that have not left their dorm room since the game started, for all, other than to go to class. I mean, that's not going to, you aren't going to have fun with it if you're just hiding out somewhere. Uh, are the leaders dominantly male or female or equal? Or is it? I think there are a lot more guys who are leaders. A lot of the more experienced players are the men, so they just have more of an idea of what's happening. Move the circle back five paces, back up five on me, let's go! Close this up, close this up. Push up, push up. One minute! Sean! Everyone pretty much has a 
trash acts the same. Okay. Like no one's just like the damsel in distress. Yeah, the girls, like, you're the not girls, forced to get yeah, into the it. girls who would be damsels, damsels in distress are not volunteering to play the game. Mm -hmm. The women who do sign up for this are the ones who really want to do it, so they're really excited about it and they get really into it. There are plenty of girls that are better at this game than guys. I know plenty of good female players. There really is no, especially of a game of this nature where you get all these people coming together, plenty of different majors, plenty of different interests, but everyone has this one love for this game. There really is no like gender differentiation. The most valuable human, Mr. Joel Inbody. <laughs> to our most valuable zombie, Solomon. <laughs> Best stun goes to Ariel for the first unveiling of an OZ by poking them with a dart. <laughs> Favorite new kid, Riley. So do you guys watch zombie apocalypse TV shows, movies, uh, video games, books? You know, Red World War Z, that was good. And The Walking Dead. Yeah. It's a great show. Zombie Survival Guide. Yes. Oh, yeah. I love that. Guide. Zombie Survival oh, Guide. Very important. I'm not so much into, like, the comic book zombie stuff. I'll play, like, zombies in video games or whatever, but not, like, that often. I don't care for zombie movies. I think they're kind of, depending on the movie, overrated. I saw what's the British one, the uh, Shaun of the Dead, I think. Oh, okay. My brother showed me that, but no, I'm not. Nothing. All right, I don't cool. find it repulsive, to be honest. Really? But yeah, it looks really gross. The cork <laughs> yeah. yeah, creeps me out. So. Yeah. Well, they were, in The Walking Dead, they were like doing the laundry while everyone was doing something, and they were not happy with it. Yeah, they're still, you can still see the different gender roles. Mm -hmm. Like, you can still see, like, stereotypical women as weaker. With so many participants unconcerned with zombie-themed media, and therefore unconcerned with playing out the scenario seen in this media, what is it about the game that draws students to participate? It's a bonding experience. I made a lot of friends, I don't know, it's nice. Yeah, I actually met my fiance through the game, so the whole point was, yeah, I make friends, you keep them for a long time, so. Yeah. The number of friendships you'll make, the bonds you'll forge. I've made so many close friends here. Um, it's, especially through HVZ, it's been a fantastic time. Humans vs. Zombies seems to be a way for participants to form a community together based on mutual experiences. Yet, even though many participants seem disconnected from the larger zombie influence, the conventional role of women makes its way into the game. The following footage is of the cumulative moment of the game, the final mission. Remember, these guys look hungry! The zombies here must prevent the humans from boarding an approaching helicopter. They shall do this by attacking the interpreter, as the pilot only speaks Klingon. Also, guys, two, one, roll it. The dominance of males in assumed leadership positions is clear, yet the women are just as physically involved in the mission as men. We lose if he dies. Do not let him die. Stay, stay with him. Stay with him. Yeah, you have a problem. Stay with him. He's the best one of us. Watch her. Don't worry about it.
Who's got that? You guys, we got that. Why are we not? You have my sword. And you have my axe. Why are you not the axe? 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 Why are you not the